Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. Thank you for being here. For those who don't know me, my name is Nur Shafika binti Muhammad Sofian. I am from College of Built Environment from UITM Perak. And today, I am behalf of my team will share one topic, one interesting topic with you guys. I will present the result of my research on Scoping Review Travel Mode Choice in Safe Route to School Program, also known as SRTS. So as you can see here, this is the abstract of my research. The scoping, the scoping review aims to explore the travel mode choice in safe route to school by reviewing the previous literature. A scoping literature review is performed by searching Scopers database and throughout the searching uh, stages, we have identified 189 related studies that based on the criteria established in the study. So uh, after that, we have uh, come up with 53 uh, articles that have been screened throughout the process. The aspect contained in the study includes existing studies which provide information of the safe route to school program and their travel mode choice. This paper also could be very beneficial to the researchers, uh, policy makers and whoever interested in undertaking the studies that are related in SRTS. Travelling to and from school is part of children's daily routine. Either they travel actively or travel passively. In globally, current situation of the travelling mode of the children to school is through motorist vehicles but still some countries are aiming for safe route to school where safety is the main aspect to be considered by most parents. The literature review form a crucial art in ac academic research. The generation of new knowledge found is based of mostly in previous literature. Thus, it is very important for researchers to conduct literature review in their attempt to analyze interpret and also evaluate existing body of knowledge. This process will enable them to establish precedence results and findings, understanding the depth and details regarding SRTS and ascertain gaps for future studies. Traditionally, research conducted literature review with broad scope and rigorous method to accomplish their research. Contrary to the traditional method of doing literature review, a scoping review helps researchers is focusing and filtering future research. So, this scoping review aims to identify gaps in literature on travel mode choice in safe route to school program as reviewing in existing literature. So, the importance of the study is throughout the process will, will enable them to establish precedent results and findings understand the depth and details about existing knowledge and also finding gaps in uh, these particularly uh, topics on SRTS. So what is actually meant by SRTS? SRTS, or also known as Safe Route to School, is actually a movement dedicated to fostering the well-being safety and sustainability of transportation system for children commuting to and from school. The initiative originated in response to decline in walking and biking rates among school children residing nearby. SRTS was initially introduced in United States during the 1990s with the first federal funded program emerging in 2005. Over time, the program has undergone procedural changes with funding directed towards infrastructure development and programming to create a safer environment that encourages walking or biking to school. The primary objectives of the SRTS program include promoting healthy habits of walking and biking, providing safer and attractive transport alternatives for school travel, and contributing to sustainable planning and project implementation.
to effectively implement SRTS, the incorporation of six E's framework, including engagement, equity, engineering, encouragement, education, and evaluation been introduced. And that has been essential of SRTS. The program places a particular emphasis of equity by targeting schools and communities with the greatest need improved walking and biking condition, especially in low-income and minority communities where poor physical environment contribute to a higher incidence of injuries and fatalities during school commutes. So this is the summary of literature review, including benefit, challenge, and also solution to solve this kind of issues. Basically, and in benefits part, promoting healthy habits of walking and biking, providing safer and attractive transportation alternatives for school travel. But there are challenges where there are declining in walking biking rates among school children residing nearby, where this is part of the issues where SRTS has been introduced. Some of the children commute safely, but some of them are really concerned where their parents are really concerned of the safety. So for the solution, residents may want their house to be close to their children's school or the city center to decrease the travel of time, regardless of whether desired area has traffic congestion during peak hours. Qualitative methods is applied through the scoping review process. The scoping review was carried out following the framework outlined by Aksi and Omali 2005. Scopers database with no limitation applied, a total of 189 articles were screened at the title and abstract level of which 55 were also assessed at full tax of eligibility. So this is the process in scoping review. So there are basically are five stages involved. The first stage is identify the research questions. The second one is through identifying relevant studies. Third one is categorizing selection. The next one is charting the data. And the last stage is collecting, summarizing, and reporting the results. So basically, this is the five stages introduced by Aksi Omali. The finding of this research is basically identified through seven aspects. The first one is number of publication by year. The second one is research approach that has been used by previous literature, data collection method, types of analysis, articles, subject area, sources or reference of the articles, and the last one is the most active contributors in these particular topics. From overall articles that have been reviewed, 2012 have been recorded as the highest number of publication, which is eight articles for that year, and followed by 2022, 2014, and also 2008 that recorded five articles each year. This shows that the interest of in studying travel mode choice in SRTS program is gaining momentum every year. The biggest number of articles, which were 24 reported studies employing quantitative research approach, which involved data from parents, students, and secondary data of traveling to school. This table recorded the most data collection methods that have been used is actually two questionnaire focus group discussion, observation, interview, and article review with frequency of 6 to 23 articles. The greatest number of recorded from articles with the method on questionnaire survey. This method involves school students with several schools as a case study. The types of analysis mainly used in the research including descriptive, chi-square, t-test, thematic, correlation, content, regression model, and mapping or spatial analysis. This table shows that covered subject areas are mainly from social sciences, medicine, engineering, and also environmental sciences. The highest number of articles published are basically from Journal of Transport and Health, 
Transportation Policy and Transport Research which recorded four articles from each sources. The last finding for this research, there are seven authors who consistently contribute to safe route to school research, namely McDonald, Zo, Young, Holscher, Chu, Rose and Scolberts, and with the three and more related articles. As a conclusion, this coping review sheds some light on knowledge on safe route to school programs, which focus on travel mode choice of students to school. The main aim of this coping review was to identify gaps in literature on SRTS through previous research that can be used as direction for future research. It was found that the research on SRTS is consistently published every year with higher number on quantitative method recorded. Therefore, further research should be done using data from questionnaire survey by applying several analysis techniques highlighted in this study. This research can contribute to new knowledge in understanding about safe route to school program and benefits to committee, the policy makers, the planners on the importance of children's safety and at the same time can enhance children's ability to actively move to school. That's all from me. Thank you. Bye.